Hey dudes, it's been a while, I'm gonna do a vlog, and I uh, wanted to do a little vlog about a little shockwave, but not this little shockwave. I wanna do it about this little shockwave. That is, I want him to just be chilling out here and uh, be in the forefront while we talk about stuff that's been up. Because I've been away from YouTube for a little while. Not really away, I've been surfing it, but uh, hang on. First off, you gotta see this. Do you see this dude do a backflip? Seriously. So this is the new jump shot. Shockwave bot shot. I kind of want to do a video about him because I like him so much. I want to write like a, a little one paragraph dissertation about how amazing it is that he is able to jump so high. Just look at that. It's friggin' You gotta actually hear it. Listen to the sound of the spring in this guy. Like just, just listen to this thing go off. I'll put it right up to the mic. That ring. Anyway. Um, so I was uh, away for... Uh, some good old-fashioned Christmas and New Year's time with family and loved ones, and uh, didn't get any work done in terms of videos for the internet. And then I went to MAGFest and filmed a thing, and got back home and immediately helped out with two short student films with uh, some classmates of mine uh, who started the program three months after I did, and uh, totally left my hard drive behind at the second set last weekend, so... Uh, I have not had the footage I needed to work on the next review I wanted to do. I'm getting that hard drive back tomorrow, Friday, um, ideally. And the next review uh, that is numbered, 160, is going to be Warbot Assaulter. It's been shot. I just have to edit it. It was shot, and it was going to be edited while I was chilling out with people over Christmas and New Year's. And guess what? I totally didn't have time. But, uh... I'm going to try to get that up on the weekend, and I would have had that up earlier, but the footage wasn't here, and it was like six hours of, of filming, including setup time, so I didn't want to redo it if I didn't have to, so I wanted to wait to make sure that we could find the hard drive, and we did, but uh, I'll be able to get it back tomorrow, and uh, after that, there's going to be a little bit of uh, Prid, a little bit of Fig Arts, and uh, 165 is actually ready to go, but I want to make it 165 just so we get some straight toy coverage for a bit. 165 was a little bit of a collaboration I did with a friend of mine at MAGFest, and uh, it's it's still pretty toy-centric. It's kind of toy review and toy podcast rolled together. Um, hopefully you dig it. And uh, aside from that, 160 through 164 I'm working on right now. Um, so I just wanted to pop in and say hello, and hope that you all had a lovely Christmas and New Year's. I'm not on camera, because... I look like a mess right now, but, uh, who cares about what I look like? This little dude is the, the king. He sold by himself. The, the new bot shots are out in Canada. If you find this little jump shot shockwave, get him. Like, this dude flies. Like, hang on, let me, let me reel this back for a second. Let's, let's see how much height we can get out of this guy. And let me know in the comments if you want, like, a, a little video about him. I kind of want to do one anyway, but I'm curious if there's any interest. Look at that! I just want to write a paragraph, like about a minute, two minutes long, and just like talk about all the reasons why this little dude is sublime, and why he's kind of like a resurrection to me of of, uh, of bot shots in general. Um, this whole new line of bot shots is really cool. I just I, I hope I can uh, find a spin changer and flip changer dude that I'm or spin shot and flip shot. I don't know. The other two new ones, there was a bumblebee and an iron hide. They didn't inspire me much. I wanna I wanna find them. Uh, with better characters, but Shockwave, that's how you start a new bot shot line, man. Anyway, uh, I'll be back with some reviewage, but just wanted to say, what's up? Logic dictates!